round two. Let's see if this works or not. If you can see me, go ahead and let me know. Say hello. I am not getting a notification. that I am live. Oh, wait. Let's see, maybe I am, maybe I am. Looks like I'm going to be live, or at least it's showing me it's live over here. Hello, hello, everyone. <clears throat> Let's, when you pop on, say hello if you're new, hashtag uh, newbie, and I will say hello to you and welcome you. If you don't see the light, red live button right here, you're watching a replay but you can always comment and I'll come back on and, and answer your questions or just comment. Hello, Ashley. Okay, so here we are, it's Tuesday. I hope um, you spent your Memorial Day uh, thinking of those that sacrificed so we can do what we love to do and the freedom that we have. We didn't attend any events, but I certainly did um, think about, hello Karen, I think about those who've lost their lives. My brother is retired Army, my husband is uh, former Navy, my dad is former Air Force, so military um, runs deep in our family. So I'm just emptying the water into the tray. I hadn't done that yet. We have a couple fun projects tonight. Ugh. It's rather warm tonight in the garage. It was 92 when I left the office. And I didn't look to see, oh, my nose is itchy. Oh, sorry, that's jiggling the camera. I didn't look to see what the temperature is here at home. We're approximately 40 miles outside of Boise. So I don't know if we're a little cooler or a little warmer. So I'm using um, six gallons of water. In my tank. All right, there we go. And I never um, put the cap back on these bottles when it's warm. Um, the gas will expand in there and uh, make them all have a tippy bottom. So I always try to remove the caps. Don't always remember that. So welcome, welcome. <laughs> Again, I'm Linda Anderson with Aqueous Silk, and tonight we are going to be marbling some leather and some quilter's cotton. If you saw my post yesterday, you saw that I was working on a quilt that I incorporated, into which I incorporated some uh, custom marble fabric. It was so much fun. I haven't quilted very much in quite a long time, and so I was um, thinking yesterday that I'll marble some more fabric, and I think I will work on um, a Halloween quilt with that fabric. So that's kind of where I'm going with the fabric. Now, I'm gonna be marbling some leather first. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and I'm not quite sure what color I want it to be. I think I'm gonna go with blues, because that's it's, this is going to be um, uh, composition notebook cover and it's going to be for um, I'm going to send it off and it will be auctioned off 
So, hello, Judy. So, I'm thinking I want to go with blues, because I don't know if it will end up with a male or a female, and blue is quite popular. I kind of want to incorporate another color, so I thought maybe gray. So, this is kind of the color palette that I think I'll work with. I have a light blue right here, a bright blue, and these two, the these two may be the same color, just a clean bottle and an old bottle. I'm not quite sure. And then I have a little bit of this darker blue and then a gray. So that's what I'm going to think, or I think I'm going to use. Obviously I'm having speech problems already. It was a long day, but um, that's kind of my thought. While I'm cleaning the water, if you have a better thought for a nice um, general color palette, in my experience, I don't like white on leather very well. The leather, leather is just a natural leather color, and the white doesn't come out very white. So I try to uh, avoid that. But... Um, so I'm gonna clear the top, the surface of the water, and then if you come up with a great idea for colors other than the blues, um, let me know. Or if you think there's something good I should add in with the blues, that would be great. Hello, Natalie. So as you know, if you've watched before, I clean the surface of the water with newsprint. I was just reading today on my lunch hour about um, a paper product that feels like leather. It's durable like leather, but it's paper. And I'm very, very curious to get my hands on some of this. And I didn't have time to figure out exactly where I can purchase some of this to try it out. But I thought that might be, you know, um, if I can find a trash can. That might be something fun to try as an alternative for those who would prefer um, not a natural leather product. But for this one, we're doing leather. Just popping some of the bubbles here. Yes, I don't need to go that far down. So I am going to go ahead and turn this screen down. <clears throat> if you get a little seasick, close your eyes for a second and then I'll point it down and then I'll determine where I want to work for my leather pieces. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> I always have to come back and check to see what you're seeing because it's oh that's pretty good maybe I can bring it down just a little bit more let's see how that does Let me bring it up. I'm going to, going to be working right there in the in that middle section. So since I only want to work in the middle, I am going to put a piece of newsprint at this end, and then one at this end, and that will help keep the paint contained in those areas. That way I don't have to use as much paint as if I filled the whole tank just to do a few little pieces. Let's see, it looks like I can move that over. Right here. I think that 
that's going to be plenty. Have a little bit of something floating right there, so I wanted to get that out. So let's start with our lightest blue color. And I'm just floating the paint on the surface of the water. Let me see here. Oops, that's not the lightest blue. This one is. And to me, I don't mind if a little bit of the natural leather color shows through. I'm just putting this a drop at a time onto the surface of the water. We may come back and put some more of this in depending on how it looks. So I want to do a couple drops of this one from the old bottle, this messy bottle, and just see if it's the same color as As the other one. I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, those look to be the same color. Just whoops. Getting paint on the table already. I barely started. So now we'll add some of this darker one. And can you see, this is the same color as this, but this one has been pushed. And so as I drop more paint in, it will push the colors that are in there. And there's still quite a bit of room for paint to move here, because it's I didn't put my base down super um, thick. So now I'm gonna come back with a little bit of that light blue. And that'll help push that uh, darker blue together. This art form is all about surface tension now, since it's warmer today, my uh, water mixture, what I call my size, is going to be a little looser than if um, it was cool. All right, so now I want to come back in and put in a little bit of gray. Any other colors you think I should add? I know it looks rather brownish. This gray has a lot of brown in it. But it is truly a gray. Here's what it looks like on the paper towel. It's truly a gray. So I think I want a little bit more of this. Let me get another paper towel. can continue to layer paint on this water until it just doesn't even move anymore. The droplets stay very tiny. Whew. 
each color has its own properties, so it behaves differently on the water and in the bottle. a little bit of uh, the dried paint that was on the top of one of these bottles that had fallen in. Now I'm going with the light gray, or I mean, excuse me, the light blue again. when I first put in the light blue these colors would not be expanding like they are now but the, see there's still lots of room in between the colors anybody have any ideas what I could put with this Let's see if I can get some comments on the iPad oh thank you Holly Ooh, I'm sweating guys it's warm out here Okay, maybe I'll put in a little bit more gray and then a little bit more blue. One of my favorite combinations is pink and gray. Like a really bright pink, a pastel pink, and then gray. But I had to consider that with this one that it may not be you know, a female, and not everyone likes pink. I think there's probably more people who like blue than pink. Now, the next question will be, should I use my tools and comb it, or do I just want to freestyle? enough paint okay I do too that's my go-to so let's get it started here I'm gonna start with the traditional method When I know it's going to be warm, I will mix my water um, a little bit thicker. So water is mixed with a seaweed powder. so much fun. I was so tired on the way home from work. I kept thinking, oh, I don't want to do a live tonight, but now I'm so happy that I did. Because it truly is fun. All right, there we go. Grab my
not done yet. I have to swirl it some more. Just cleaning off the teeth. I, my had been my intent to, uh, I had to clean the room where I store most of my stuff because you could barely walk through it. And uh, I was going to work on my new combs and rakes, but I didn't. All right, so now Don't want any air pockets in underneath this. Sometimes you get them anyway, but I try not to. Jan, thank you. I had a hard time deciding what colors to use. It always makes me so nervous to pick leather up out of here. So there it is. See, I did get a couple bubbles. There's one here and here at one at each end. But overall, it looks really good. So there's three, there's a bubble here, there was a bubble here and up here. So I'm gonna pull out the, the other pieces. See, this is why I like to leave some of the natural leather coming through. I really like the way that looks. So now I'm going to um, rinse it. I have a bottle of water and an empty tub here and I'll just gently rinse it over the tub and then I'll set it aside and then I'll rinse it again gently and let it dry when I get um, in the house. Leather 
little bit challenging. It, it marbles beautifully. But um, I haven't quite figured out the uh, shrinkage ratio yet. So I always make the pieces bigger than what I need. And then, um, cause I made it, I cut it exact one time and it did not work at all. The, the piece was too, the piece of leather was too small. When I tried to uh, stitch it together. So I was very disappointed. So now I made one for myself as a test run and uh, it was almost perfect size. It was a little bit uh, tall, a little bit taller than what I need. So I tried to cut this one a little bit smaller than that, but the piece still looks huge, so I don't know. The, the glories of research and development. And I'd rather have it be too big than too small. Okay. So I'm just applying the newsprint to the surface exactly like I did the leather. Get the paints out of the way. Clean it one more time. On the next batch, we don't want any blue on there. Give it a good once over. I'm going to go over it right again there just to make sure and down at this end. Let's go the other way and see what happens. when it came out of there. So now I'm going to use the whole tray. I'm going to start off with white. And if you see me grab a paper towel and dab the surface of the water, that's because I see some of the blue. But there shouldn't be any. All right, let's go. So I have little mixing balls in some of these bottles and uh, they like to get Clog the tip. It's 
See, I'm doing this a little more solid than I did that blue. You're supposed to drop this drop right inside the other drop on the edge, and that gives you a nice full coverage. But because I'm always impatient, I generally don't do a good job of, of that. And my fabric is white, so it really doesn't matter. But the idea is to have a, a lot of paint down on the surface to create that surface tension and give you nice, vibrant colors. See, I'm dropping it. I don't know if you can see it on screen, but I am dropping this paint right inside the lines where it, the paint spread. Did anyone do anything exciting or fun over the weekend? Or were you like me and just a homebody? I enjoyed my time at the sewing machine. I did not get my quilt finished. I wanted to get it to a point where I could put the binding on this week, but I ran out of bobbin thread and I was just getting to the point where I was tired and didn't feel like getting everything set up to go again, so I quit. And spent the afternoon. Well, the evening, I guess it was, because I think I stopped sewing about 6 o'clock, 6.30 maybe. Bubbles, I can get bubbles out of it. All right. I guess we're good. So now I'm going to put down, I'm going to use a dropper and cuffs. Oh, or should I do um, the stone pattern? That might like look really cool. That might look really cool in a quilt fabric. I was just gonna do droppers and then comb it. Oh, I'm quite warm. So I'm using black, orange, yellow, and purple. I don't know what quilt pattern I'm going to do yet. But if I can get the uh, fabric ready. I'm actually using a little bit more fabric than I did when I uh, marbled the fabric for the quilt I'm working on now. pattern but I reserve the right to swirl it anyway so let's see gotta get out my uh, correct brushes they only 
have four, so this is perfect. I need something to put my brushes on. So I'll do this. And whoo, I'm gonna put down the or or the yellow first. randomness of doing this pattern is just so much fun. Hey Colleen! Hi Holly! I always end up getting paint on my iPad when I marble the stone pattern, but it flicks right off. Apparently I also get paint on the table and on the side of the tank. put it in the black. And we'll keep going with this. Now I'll put some black in. I'm just going to keep layering the paints on. Look how hard the black pushes everything out of the way. I need a splatter shield for my iPad. What do you think? How, how do you think it's looking? Definitely needs some more purple. Need something to push that black. It's not looking black at all. All right, so now we'll come to, um, I want to do some more purple. This is so cool. I have like a, a crescent moon right there. Some more yellow. Again, I'm just going to continue. This is the stone pattern. And I'm just going to continue layering these paints on here.
this one, when I'm at a show, I never do the stone pattern because usually um, there's way too many people standing around and paint is going everywhere. So I don't want anyone to get splattered and if it was an inside event, you know, you wouldn't want it on the carpeting or the flooring. I do put down protective uh, plastic, but it's just, you really can't control it. This is black. You still can't see the black. I can't believe how much the purple just disappears. So we're gonna come back with more purple. I'm not a huge purple fan, but for Halloween, it just feels appropriate. Do some more orange. <laughs> Hi, Joni. Again, we're going to layer, layer, layer. That's the name of the game here. What I cannot figure out is why my black is not looking black. This art form can be so frustrating and so, um, such a mystery. Let's put some more yellow in. I still don't see my black showing up. All the dark, it looks just purple to me. I think that is quite interesting. what would happen if I'm going to lay down some regular drops. I just have a just a little pivot. Pipe it, pip it, I don't know what the real name is. Little dropper. And 
then I'll do some uh, stones kind of on top of them. purple. I'm going to not do the black because I don't know why the black is not pushing together and looking black. more yellow and a little bit more orange. I'm going to rinse these out. If I rinse them out and get them really clean, I can reuse them. more orange and then a little bit more yellow and whatever I don't use I can put back in the bottle so I won't be wasting paint and now I just want to this stone pattern right on top of those drops which they're also called stones but um, just a different application of the paint Now, and the next thing is I need to decide if I am in fact going to swirl through this or if I should just leave it. I'm very disappointed that my black isn't showing, but I can use a black in the quilt to really set this off as well. So, so should I, um, Number one, do I need to add any other colors? It looks much different on the screen than it does in the tank. On my end, it's much brighter. <laughs> I'm kind of that way too, Holly. So I think I'm just gonna freeform a little bit through this just to add a little bit of me to it. There's not gonna be a lot of it. It's warm enough out here that they will dry out really quickly. When you're 
working in the heat. Um, oh, I can't get this one. The paint will dry on the surface. You have about 20 minutes, depending, or the paint will dry. And you can see it start to fracture. Um, that kind of looks like a little bit of crackling. I don't mind that texture added into the overall design. So it doesn't bother me at all. I'm very interested to see what it's gonna look like where the black, I put the black down. Now obviously I didn't put very much of it down because I, I could tell it wasn't behaving as it was should. All right. Now let me get my husband, my unwilling assistant, and we'll get this printed. because there's a lot of pink in here from when I used the fabric, or I mean the paints the last time, or the water is what I'm trying to say. You. Making sure that the cloth touches the surface of the water. I cut the piece of fabric as wide as my tank with just a little bit of room for getting my fingers in. But obviously it's just a width, this is like 36 inches or whatever. I would love to be able to cut one the length of my tank. how this is going to look. So the black looks gray. Can you see it? I don't know if you can or not. And I don't have another hand to push it up. So, But I think that will still work just fine. And I just put that cloth right into a bucket of water, just rinsing out any additional um, size that came off. Now well, there's a place I don't really like. And then I will just put it in a plastic baggie and I'll take it in, rinse it and hang it up. Which I have a, I have a show this weekend and I'm doing prepping some little folding fans and some dog bandanas and I've got to get those moved before I hang this up because if any paint drops on them that would not be good so that's it for tonight everyone um, I will give you a close well let me take you over there I'll hold this or I'll move this out here too let me give you a close-up my hands dry so I don't electrocute myself. Okay, hold on a minute. Here we go. All right, I'm going to turn it around. Okay, there's what's left over in the tank. And then they're down at the other end. But here's the fabric. See this gray here? This is supposed to be the black. So I don't know what's up with my black. I think I need to open a new bottle. But that's that cloth. And then here is the leather.
So that's it. I appreciate everyone watching. 